scoot up for a second and let's talk. Yo, DJ, roll that beautiful champagne footage. Welcome to Champagne Secrets, where the bubbles are crisp, the secrets are smoother than silk, and the gossip flows like the finest champagne. Big up yourself, Empress. Glasses up to the streets that never sleep and to the secrets running deep. Let's get it. Champagne secrets. Confidence, the Empress here. I usually give my bubbly introduction right about now, but this isn't a bubbly situation. Maybe if they had some bubbly Hennessy or 1800 it would fit. But go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button for me. And hit that notification bell on your way in. I really want to be able to drop more videos for you, but I am in the process of getting a new computer with enough memory to handle my video editing software because all of the graphics and editing that you see are done by me. But we're working on it. <laughs> I'm not monetized yet, but if you want to support, the Cash App is on the screen. I woke up this morning to two more subscribers, so we are now up to 15. Thank you so much. Champagne City couldn't survive without you, baby. <laughs> I need to create a room in the Secret Chalet for these kind of discussions. We have the Secret Chalet for the recaps and reactions. We have the Champagne Room for our upcoming Champagne Letters. We have the Noir Syndicate for our upcoming True Crime and Mysteries podcast, Inky Noir Champagne Mysteries. Yeah, we're trying to have a little bit of something for everyone on one channel. <laughs> now we need one for our serious matters such as these, but let's get into it. According to The Shade Room, Krishan Rock is facing criminal charges and has now been sued for allegedly assaulting James Wright Chanel. As the Shade Room previously reported, the incident reportedly occurred at a Tamar Braxton concert in November of 2023. According to the Los Angeles Times, the lawsuit against Krishan Rock was filed in Los Angeles Superior Court on Tuesday, February the 6th. The filing asserts that Krishan Rock was speaking with Wright Chanel backstage at a concert on November 10th, 2023. Rock was reportedly under the impression she would perform at the show. However, Wright Chanel believed she was only supposed to participate in a dance performance toward the end. Rock allegedly became infuriated and punched Wright Chanel several times in the face. The 23-year-old was allegedly wearing rings at the time and two of his teeth broke. She hit him multiple times in the face for no reason at all. We were surprised that she was able to leave the facility that night. Kevin Anderson, an attorney for James Wright, reportedly told the outlet. She had on rings that were pretty much equivalent to brass knuckles. Additionally, the attorney alleges that Tamar Braxton was present when the alleged assault occurred. From there, Krishan Rock was escorted from the room. Amid her being removed, she allegedly used homophobic slur to describe Wright. Additionally, Rock threatened to strike Wright Chanel again. Afterward, Wright Chanel went to the hospital with two broken teeth and cuts to his face. Furthermore, the Los Angeles Times adds that a criminal case was filed against Krishan Rock in January concerning the incident. The new mother is reportedly facing charges of assault with a deadly weapon and battery. According to Rock's attorney, she could be ordered to pay Chanel a substantial sum should the court rule in his favor. Now let's take a look at another suit that's going on based on Krishan's attacks. According to Radar Online, Krishan Rock was slapped with a lawsuit accusing her of causing a woman physical and emotional harm. According to the court documents obtained by RadarOnline.com, a woman named Irby Lashala ha 
has filed a lawsuit against Krishan and Zeus Networks. The suit accuses Krishan Rock of assault, battery, and intentional infliction of emotional distress. Zeus was sued for negligence. In her suit, Irby said she attended the premiere for Krishan's Zeus reality show, Baddies West, on January 22, 2023. The woman said she approached Krishan to say hello and compliment her on her appearance. The suit said after discussing a prior working relationship with Krishan, Irby turned around and began to walk away. Suddenly, without warning, Krishan physically assaulted Irby, and Irby was tackled. The alleged victim said she was not only physically harmed, but suffered psychological damages. In addition, she claims to have racked up medical bills. Irby's lawsuit is seeking unspecified damages. Krishan announced she was pregnant with her on-again, off-again boyfriend, Blueface, in January, prior to the alleged assault taking place. On the night in question, Krishan was caught in a separate physical altercation with two women. So as you see on the screen, this was just updated, and in order to see the full details of the case, you have to pay for it, and I'm really not invested enough to go that far. But scoot up for a second and let's talk about it. Y'all created this. Mm -hmm. Everyone who idly watches and says nothing. Everyone who praises this behavior. Watch this. You always have freedom of choice, but you don't always have freedom of consequence. At the end of the day, right is right and wrong is wrong. And I can't trust anyone, anyone willing to call right wrong and wrong right. I can't. See, I'm not trying to drag her. This isn't a key and T moment. This is real life. Did you watch my other video on obsession with her? There's a difference between real life and reality TV. See, the world fell in love with reality TV, Krishan. But Krishan doesn't know how to turn the TV off. She thinks the world is one big episode after the next that the world is turning in to watch. Now real life is catching up to her because of all the ish she did and the world wants to say, oh, she's young. To hell with being young. All of us have been young before and didn't do this ish. Y'all started this. You only live once ish. Yeah, we started this and it's true, but you also only die once too. If we gonna talk about it then, let's talk. Scoot up for a second. This woman's empowerment movement started, and y'all got empowered in the wrong way. You thought it gave you the right to do what you want to when you want to, and can't nobody say nothing different. But there's an action for every reaction. Now, look at the reaction for her action. Who's thinking about the baby? And we're not talking about diagnosis and pre-diagnosis here. We're talking about who's going to care for this baby if she goes to jail. Who? Some of y'all grew up with parents present in your lives. And some of y'all are dealing with depression and anxiety and low self-esteem and low self-worth. Because although those parents were present, they weren't there. You honestly want this baby to deal with that, huh? Scoot up. No, the women's empowerment movement empowers you to chase your dreams, assert your voice, pursue education and career goals, advocate for your rights, promote financial independence, promote cultural and social change, inspire future generations, demand accountability and justice. It does not give you the right to punch someone in the face because you're having a temper tantrum and cannot get your way. But see, we allow that on reality TV now. You can punch someone without repercussions. You can destroy someone's property without being accountable for it, whether you can afford it or not. Do you love her? Do you? Or do you love living vicariously through her, huh? If we gonna talk about it, let's talk. Scoot up. Because if you love her, tell her the damn truth. Tell her this is the legacy you want to leave for your son? Sons generally choose women like their mothers. Is this what you want him to choose? 
Is this what you want him to see? Because the internet is forever. I feel sad for her because she doesn't want to get it. Because getting it doesn't bring views. Foolishness brings in views. Because we've become such a toxic society that we turn off wisdom because we like recklessness. We like wasteralism, which is a tendency to waste things carelessly. Anything from money to time and everything in between. I'll say it again. There's a reaction for every action. And reaction was knocking on that door during that live the other day. What I don't understand is, if you stand on business, and if you stood ten toes behind what you did, why not stand ten toes and wait for the police to get there and explain to them why you did what you did, huh? If we gonna talk about it, let's talk. Scoot up. How are you standing on business, but run when the music starts playing? Face the music. Don't run from it. If you're bold enough to do it, be bold enough to face it. You were bold enough to hit this man in the face with rings on. You were bold enough to assault this girl allegedly while you were pregnant. Then stand ten toes behind what you did and tell the court why you did it. Face the music. Otherwise, you're not Big Rock. You're the little one. This is sad. Everything about it. How many times is this girl going to give you her ass to kiss like on the picture and you justify her actions? Blueface already had to face his music and there's a warrant in Vegas so he has more music to face and now the trumpets are playing for you. What now, huh? That's really all I have with for this one. Confidants, if it doesn't cause you to elevate, it's causing you to depreciate. Now raise your glasses, clink, and let's drink. Till we meet again. Ta-ta.